Okay, pay attention to this exercise because this will be useful in the coming lessons and the next exercise. Editing images. So we have copy, flip, and rotate. Let's see. So number one is copy. Okay, this is the copy button. Um, keep in mind that this is all in the animation tab. So this is the copy button. It duplicates a current animation. So if you click this, you'll have a second B animation. Number two is the flip button. Here's two. Okay, so the B is facing to the left, but if we click the flip button, it will be facing to the right. It flips the current image across the vertical axis. Let's see what number three is. Three is the rotate button. It rotates the image 90 degrees. Okay, that can be found right here. So uh, this B that's facing left will be facing down. And let's see how that works in action. Changing images as you move. All right, we got our ladybug. Right now, your conditionals only do one thing. Change your sprites X or Y. But you can actually put as much code as you want inside a conditional. A common thing to do in games is to change your character's image depending on which direction they are walking. Do this. Using the provided program and images, duplicate your chosen bug image four times. Okay, duplicate. I think that's that's the copy button. So we got the ladybug. Let's duplicate it four times. And this is the duplicate button. So uh, I think... We really only need to duplicate it three times. I don't know why it said four. And let's say instead of ladybug uh, copy, let's do, let's change this to uh, L for left. Let's change this one to R for right. And let's make this face left. So how do you do that? Uh, flip, right? Yep. Cool. All right, so let's duplicate this again. We're gonna want this to say U for up. Delete that one. Ladybug U for up, and how do we do that? Okay, cool, it's facing up. Uh, and let's duplicate this one again, and this one will be down, so we'll say D, Ladybug D. And we want to flip it so it looks like it's facing down. Cool. All right. I think that's what they were going to ask us to do. Let's see. Okay, so we duplicated it. Edit each of your images so they point in one of the four directions. Write code that uses sprite set animation to change the image on your bug, bug sprite when different arrow keys are pressed. Okay. So the key here is to go to each of our... Ah, uh, yes each of our if statements and we're going to add this block and we're going to set it okay so the sprite is called bug and we're going to set the animation so that when it's going right it's using ladybug r okay and let's do this so this is the one that's going to be facing left remember our sprite is called bug and this is supposed to be facing left so we're going to do ladybug l uh, here, we're going to do, remember to name the sprite bug, and it's up, so ladybug u. And here, facing down, name the sprite bug, and we're going to do ladybug d. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay, ladybug. Couldn't find an animation named ladybug. Well, that is frustrating. Ah, this is why. So the default, I guess we have to set the default. Notice how down here it says line two. So that's where the error was. I guess we'll make the ladybug R the default. All right, reset and run. Looks like it's working. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Okay, let's move on to some of these challenges. Let's see if... I can do any of these. Okay. Check with your teacher before trying this challenge. Here's the bug program you've been working on for the past few levels. Choose one or more of the following challenges or add new features of your own. 
Use the space key to control another property of your bug sprite, such as rotation or scale. All right, cool. Let's do that. I think we want to use another if statement just like this, but this time we're going to do space. So I am going to copy and space, or copy and paste, excuse me. Copy. Click here. Hit enter on your keyboard to give yourself some space. And now we are going to go back to blocks. And I want this to say space. And I don't want any of any of this because I'm just going to use sprite.rotation uh, equals sprite.rotation and we're going to do bug bug and go back to show text bug.rotation plus one all right and I think I think now this should be good Boom, 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 and let's hit the space bar. Yes, excellent. Well done, folks. Try and do some other challenges. I'm going to finish here.